Hey guys, so you know we did the 820 box of Meta Zoo Nightfall that is first edition, of course. I don't know if they have any Nightfall that's not first edition, but regardless, the box is selling on eBay for $40 free shipping today. So that was not a $820 box, that $820 box uh, with extras. Yes, yes, I understand there are extras is worth far less money than it used to be. But how could we talk about that and not talk about the $700 mystery box, which is almost 100% Meta Zoo? And in fact, one of the chase hits, the redemptions, if you will, was seven Meta Zoo playmats, which there are eBay completed for 10 playmats, or even seven. Maybe they got it from this product for less than a dollar. Yes, not a dollar a playmat, a dollar for all seven. So let's talk about uh, this happening in context of the very expensive prices of Fallout Collector Box. Fallout Collector's Edition is at a whopping $400 plus a box today. I expect it to fall down to $300 eventually, but, you know, FOMO, right? Uh, Wizard Coast learned a lot from Alpha Investments how to milk uh, the exact to milk the dime, you know, just to milk um, as much as you can from your subscriber base. And that's exactly what they're going to do. But unfortunately, there's no milk left over for anyone else because Wizard Coast wants to milk everything and keep it for itself. So MetaZoo obviously has kind of failed. Um, but let's take a look at the price point of these. So the the uh, MetaZoo Nightfall kit bundle was $820. The Alpha Investment 6.9 was $700. And um, people were saying, oh man, Fallout is expensive at $400. Modern Horizons Free, Collectors, these are, I'm just talking about Collectors, I'm talking about the most expensive edition is $504. Oh wow, that's expensive. Um, but these things have like fetch lands in them and they have Fallout cards. Like I don't, you know, I don't think they're good investments. I think they're terrible investments, but they're, Far better than a 6.9 mystery box of Meta Zoo garbage, right? I mean, none of that stuff is worth money. Because all the pins are worth money. No, they're not. You can go to eBay Complete. They're, you can get all the pins for like 10 or $15. Like, the, oh, the promo card. No, they're not. Like, you know, like none of it is worth $700. I don't know. Like, you got to go to eBay Complete, like actually sold, not buy it now. The buy it now prices are insanity, but they'll never sell. It's kind of like the problem I had with MetaZoo, and now MetaZoo is exposed for a fraud, a rug pull. Even its number one person, Argos Anonymous, is fire selling as much. I mean, he's he's throwing boxes like there ain't no tomorrow on eBay, because there ain't no tomorrow for MetaZoo. And um, back to my point is like this type of spending in cardboard is outrageous. When Rudy did the seven hundred dollars, when he did the eight twenty and the eight thousand two hundred. Like, this stuff, no one should be buying this, guys. No one, I, I don't think anyone should be buying $400 or $500 boxes. And these boxes got fetch lands. Like, and I mean, I'm sure that you're going to pull like 10 fetch lands a box. Like, this type of stuff where everything just gets more expensive and more expensive, and it's not inflation. These boxes are not getting more expensive because of inflation. They're getting more expensive because the audience has been taught that they need to pay $700, $820, $8,200 dollars a box. Like what you need to understand is very simple. It started with Alpha Investment, right? Before Wizard Coast came out with uh, their $1,000 box, which you could get at Black Lotus. It does have some value to it, obviously. You could get dual lands. That's kind of valuable. Are they real cards? Are they proxies? We're going to argue until we're blue in the face. But at the end of the day, those cards have resale value. Meaning you can throw them on eBay, you can take it to a local game store. Somebody will want it. I guarantee you somebody will want a Black Lotus from Magic 30th. That was a thousand dollars, right? And Rudy Chan freaked out, but he was the first one to do a you know 820 to $820 for the MetaZoo Nightfall booster box. And the $700, they were before the $1,000 thing and he was already selling them bundles and kits for eighty two hundred dollars 
he did the Monarch first edition at what was it like a thousand or something like that? I, I don't know, five hundred for. I think it was a thousand for two boxes or something like that. Like he already was speculating, it was already like way past the pr point of no return, and that's the problem. The problem is people are accustomed to paying five hundred. So like five hundred dollars a box now seems like a steal. At least you get some Festlands. That was not true in the Rudy packs. $500 a box or even $400 a box. I mean, would you rather have one MetaZoo bundle kit with one MetaZoo Nightfall first edition booster box? Or would you rather have two Fallout collector boxes? Sign me up for Fallout 10 out of 10 times. People are used to being hosed. And that's why these prices are insane. $400 a box. $500 a box, that should not exist. It shouldn't even come across Wizard of the Coast's mind that this is viable. Because for a long time, I don't know if you guys know this, they actually didn't raise the price of cards. The The price of cards were pretty, pretty stable for a very long time. Then a dude came along and he showed them the market. He showed them, hey, I'm going to package $20 a shit, call it MetaZoo, and I'm going to sell for 800 I bet you somebody in Magic, because apparently Alpha Investment communicates with them all the time via email, right? These anonymous sources. It's never a first name, last name. Who knows if they still work there after layoffs, right? I mean, I know the first person I would fire would be the person who's leaking information to Alpha Investments, right? And then he's leaking information to online. So if I was like a person who cared about this stuff at Hasbro, I would be like, wait, where is he getting this information from? Oh, let's just check the email servers. Right, and let's just check how many people we told this to. So clearly, um, according to himself, he's communicating directly with... But communication goes both ways. Trust me, they are very well aware that he sold a $700 mystery box. To Magic the Gathering players. Again, his entire platform is Magic the Gathering players. There, there are no meta zoo people left. What do you think? 1%? 10%? Like, there's nobody left. And there's no flesh and blood videos. Occasionally, there's a Weiss video, but the Weiss community doesn't like them. The uh, 10x the price of their waifus. So instead of getting your waifus for cheaply, now you have to pay 10 times the price because the dude just flexed on everybody. Um, at the end of the day, uh, the reason we have expensive magic cards and the reason that we have $500 collector boxes and 400, I think it's because. Wizard of Coast, via communicating with him, realized, whoa, this guy's making like, you know, for MetaZoo, why did he pay $50 a booster box? Right, distributor price is 70 but he's like a special partner, he's gonna pay 50 And then he he has uh, his own promo, his own playmat. Well, Wizard of Coast can do that too. We can make playmats and promos all day long, and why don't we do a serialized number to boot? Like, Wizard of Coast basically realize that their demographic magic players have a lot of money to burn and they realize that by watching and talking to alpha and supposedly communicating with alpha and i still don't believe it but that's what he says with alpha how are they not going to realize whoa there's a secondary market for our shit and our secondary market is making more money than we are right and we were to sell a collector box for 200 and the secondary market goes 504 hey we don't we don't want the secondary market to make that much money we need that for ourselves. And Amazon, of course. Amazon being greedy. Anyway, bye guys.